Hello and welcome to this expert blog on creating seismic lines from a table of coordinates. Knowing what coordinate references in the data has been collected in, we can view the structure of the data. The tabular data contains coordinate locations defining the start and end of a line, as well as a line number ID. Excel data can be viewed in our catalogue in a similar fashion to viewing attribute tables, and here we can see the same data displayed in our catalogue. Within ArcMap, we can view the Excel data in the Catalog tab, and from here we can add the spreadsheet to the table of contents and view it. As this is still tabular data, there is no spatial representation of the data on the map. Using the XY to Line tool in the Art Toolbox, we are able to convert the coordinates to lines. Fill out the tool parameters following our database fields and defining the line type. In this tool there are four line types. Geodesic is a type of geodetic line which is analogous to a great circle on a sphere that most accurately represents the shortest distance between any two points on the surface of the earth. Great circle, another type of geodetic line, represents the path between any two points along the intersection of the surface of the earth and a plane that passes through the centre of it. The drum line is also known as a loxodrome and is a path defined by a constant bearing. Normal section is a type of geodesic line which represents a path defined by the intersection of the spheroid surface and a plane. We then go on to select the coordinate reference system. Running the tool produces a status summary and adds the data to the map. 